Clone Wars is over and Rebels is coming to a close. So what's next? Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one young so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today, oh yeah, we coming with another wonderful episode of thumbnails. We're talking about the one, the only, the beautiful story from a galaxy far, far away, which is Star Wars. And there's been a little bit of news coming about where we can speculate just a tad on what we're gonna expect to see next in animated form from Star Wars, because. Lucasfilm, of course, is ending the run of Star Wars Rebels. It's been on for, I believe, this is the fourth season, and it's been going through the tale of the crew of the Ghost, you know, Hera, Sabine, Kanan, Zeb, Chopper, and Ezra. But they're finally coming to a close, and it's gonna dovetail pretty close to kind of Rogue One, A New Hope. And people are starting to wonder, well, what's next? Well, it seems that Lucasfilm has already got that in the bag because they have a LinkedIn post right now looking for a new director, which you can see right here, talking about someone who's able to do episodic uh, storytelling, someone to be able to kind of like get in there and go on his or her own and kind of take control of the project. And that leaves us wondering if you know, this is gonna be the series that Dave Filoni was teasing last year, talking about something new that's gonna be kind of animated, going towards like, I guess a new hope kind of area, maybe even empire area. Now the good thing about this series is that it's probably gonna line up with Disney's new streaming service that's gonna be coming out, which we've already heard that a live action kind of show for Star Wars is gonna be on there too. So if you're gonna do live action, might as well have some animated as well. And I think that this is gonna be a nice little, a, a nice, hopefully, breath of fresh air into the kind of the mythos of Star Wars. Dave Filoni has been around for a long time, but of course we know that he's probably going to be going on to live action with Star Wars. So this will be a, a way to, to breathe a little new life into the animated storytelling that we already have, know and love, um, depending on where you fall with, of course, Clone Wars and Rebels. But I think this could be really cool. So guys, I wanna know what you think, and I'm gonna drop some things right after the jump. But now that we have the basic news, the basic knowledge going on, of course, it's time to speculate. But first, of course, Cure Brand, go and help us pay them bills. Yeah, that's right. Check that link below. Shirts, hats, hoodies, all that good stuff at curlbrand.com. Once you find something you like, cop it. Now that we know that there's most likely going to be another animated series coming soon, it's probably going to be on streaming or Disney XD, something like that, you know, both or tandem, something to that extent. Now let's kind of get into the conversation of, you know, what do you want? What do you want to see in the next animated series? In Clone Wars, of course, we were covering the time period between the second and third movie. Uh, Rebels, of course, we were covering the time between uh, A New Dawn and probably A New Hope, uh, A New Dawn being the novel. Um, so what are you looking to see? Uh, for me, I would really like to see something focused on maybe 1313 or something focused around the, the criminal aspect, like the, the underworld, the, the huts, uh, the Black Sun, uh, stuff like that. Something, you know, in that area, in that vein with, you know, bounty hunters, just something that's a little, a little, a little more grit to it, a little, maybe a little, sh a little more shades of gray, a little more darkness, but I'd love to know what you guys would like to get out of this. Of course, there's, there's gotta be a Jedi in there somewhere. It wouldn't be Star Wars without a Jedi, but I would like to see a, a, a larger focus on maybe the Outer Rim and the criminal aspects and maybe, maybe the Empire and its struggle to keep its hold on those Outer Rim territories. My next question for you guys is, what time period do you wanna cover? 
Do you want to do something like in the aftermath area? Do you want to do something, you know, New Hope, you know, uh, uh, episode five? Or do you want to go before? Do you want to do something like Nice of the Old Republic? Like, do you want to go like way far that back? Or do you want to do something similar to sort of what Valiant Comics did, which is like jump like 2000 years into the future and tell a story there? Because I think that could be kind of fun too. I mean, if you jump that far in the future, you definitely won't mess up any current canon at all because it's so far away that there's no way you could really touch it. And I think that's something that could be a lot of fun too. Um, my next question is, what do you want the art style to look like? Because me, as far as the art style, I would like to see something cell shaded, something similar to either the new Godzilla film on Netflix or Knights of Sidonia, which is also on Netflix. Those two animes, they, they just have a very unique look. And I think, uh, you know, Clone Wars had a very distinct style. Uh, the Rebels, of course, has its own distinct style. And I think something like Knights of Sidonia would, would fit well. It would look very good on Star Wars. And my last question is, who do you want to see in it? Or who do you want it to be about? Uh, me, I want it to be about somebody that we've never even seen before. Like somebody completely new, some a completely new cast of characters. You know, maybe similar themes and stuff like, you know, like the Black Sun or something like that, but not a specific person that we already know. Like it can be about the Black Sun, about the Huts, but these are some other Huts. So this is, maybe the Huts have kind of like fallen and they don't have the same footing that they used to have in the criminal world. And they're trying to fight their way back to get their territory back or something. You know, just something cool, something different that we haven't particularly seen, but of course, you know, still safe enough for kids because it is animated. But unless they want to go the, the adult animation route, I am not mad at that. But I, I want to know who you want to see. Um, as far as the Jedi, I would love to see a black Jedi. Uh, I know that the live action has kind of I guess shied away for, from showing a lot of black male and female Jedi, but I would love to see a, at least a POC Jedi. You know, someone who's different, that doesn't fit the mold of Luke, Leia, Rey, stuff like that. Just someone who, who's different, someone who's unique, someone who looks different. Uh, and then also I would like to see a larger role of aliens being played because we know how the Empire has a very distinct racist kind of view and look towards alien races. So I would like to see some aliens come into play, more aliens and not so many uh, humans kind of involved in the fight or whatever that skirmish may be. So guys, of course, holla at me. I'm gonna holla at you. Down in them comments, let's talk about Star Wars, the next animated series, what it might bring, what it might be about. Might as well get started now. I mean, what else we gotta do? Except go buy more tickets to see Black Panther. But until then, I'm gonna tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos are the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Right. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And of course, get one for them play X. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. And of course, LA what up, VA what up, RVA you got my heart, and please, be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, y'all, just because the force is with you doesn't mean you're going to win. Peace.